Yes. Let's jot, dive right in and see how we can do it. That all we can do is improve our English. That's the only thing we have control of, right? All right. Is this the proper one, or is this one? This is the one for. Well, this is the one for tomorrow. We'll save that one for tomorrow. Hold on, everybody. Let me see here. There we go. Let me see here. Okay, hold on. One second. There's tonight's one. Six one. That's today, June first. Can you believe it? We made it to June. The Bare time flies. Barely, but we made it. <laughs> <laughs> we made it to June. We got two more weeks. Eight more classes, and then wow. and then we're done for the summer. Are 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 any of you interested in taking the summer class during the day? If you are, let me. If you are, let me know. Send me a message, and I'll give you the information for registration. I, I'm not. I'm not sure. Um, the teacher is Miss Aguirre. She's a good teacher, and and I think you would have a good time in the class. It's a four week class, but it's only in the daytime. No nighttime class during summer, unfortunately. Like around mm -hmm. around what time, teacher? I, that I don't know. I'll, I'll talk to Miss Aguirre tomorrow, and I'll give you all the information that I have. And, okay, and, thank and, you. And uh, and then if if any of you are interested, you can send me a message, and I'll I'll make sure that you get on the registration list. Yeah. So so it's it's certainly going to be in the morning at some time. I think Miss Aguirre likes to have her class around around nine in the morning, but 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 I'll let you know. I'll, oh. I'll let you know. Thank it's you. it's. I think it's going to be just a, a, I don't know. Is it two hour is class it, or a four hour class? Something. I don't know. Oops. But if if it's around that time, I, I can because I work like uh, in the yeah. morning. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, that, that's the work, that's why. We, yeah, I I asked them. I said we need to have nighttime class. I have a lot of good students, and they're very interested in in studying. But because this is by far my best class of of quarantine is this class so congrat you. congratulations you. to you you are the best thank you you are thank number you. one in my book <laughs> thank you teacher uh -huh. yeah so yes yeah, so, sometimes in the morning i get three students four students five students it's makes me sad actually but but uh, <laughs> but anyway we're we're here and we're ready to go so let's see what we can do here uh, let's see. We got last week. Remember, whenever we see that word last, last week, last month, last year, we're talking about simple past, right? Was, was sure. difficult. Well, last week's test was a little difficult. Already, sounds like present perfect to me, doesn't it? So, what can I we say? Have I have already read. read. Have already read. The next one is the students plan the problem after class. Plan to discuss. To discuss. To discuss. Plan two, right. Always infinitive with those potential actions in the future. Plan two. All right. The next one is a how long question. That's one of our classics. How long have you? Uh, how long have you? Have. And two choices, you? right? Work. Or you been working. I've been working. Been working. Whenever you have those long-term past tense actions, you can use a gerund. That's gonna be not a gerund. A present perfect or a perfect continuous. Now the next one. Didn't permit. Exactly. Past tense and didn't permit. Didn't permit. The next one says for three days. Has been. Has been. Or has been. Was. Was. Has been. Has been. Break. Oh, has been. Has been sick. Has been, has been sick. Been right? From the past okay. to the present. Has been. All right. 
This next one goes back to level two. Remember that how often question? Do you? Do you? Do you, right? do you? Fre frequency questions we're going to use do. What happened here? All right, let's try this again. What, what is a frequency question? Frequency is, is uh, you know, uh, how many times a week, how many times a month, how many times a year. Oh, okay. right? when, you, when you talk about a regular action. Like, oh, okay. For example, eating Italian food. How often do you eat? Right? Oh, okay. Those are called frequency questions. Yeah, and words like always, sometimes, usually, often, those are called frequency adverbs because they, oh, okay. tell, because they tell about a regular activity. Right? So, yeah. So, actually, let me, since we have a little time, why don't I? Share this with you. Oops, if I can spell it right. Frequency. Right, those, those, these are what we call the frequency adverbs in English. Always, often, rarely, sometimes, usually. And we use them with Simple present tense verbs, right? So, and remember, these are what we call middle sentence adverbs because they always go after the subject and before the verb. I always brush my teeth after I eat. I often see my friends at parties. I usually um, visit my mother on Sunday. I what is it called? The, hmm? Sorry. They're called mid sentence adverbs. Mid-sentence, mid yeah. Frequency adverbs, which are called mid-sentence adverbs. They're called mid-sentence because they go in the middle of the sentence. Oh, okay. Yeah, most adverbs go at the end, right? For example, ha have you seen any good movies recently? Right? I put recently at the end. Or oh, I, haven't, okay. I haven't done my homework yet right but there are mm -hmm. other other adverbs like for example already that's one that's a mid-sentence adverb too but these are all mid-sentence adverbs they they go in the middle like i rarely go swimming i hardly ever do my laundry i never smoke cigarettes right they're in the middle of the sentence not at the end right most adverbs are at the end Right. Teacher, a question. And never is a simple present or uh, is this, a... is, this is a very good question. I, I, because you students are so smart, I knew somebody was going to ask this question. And let me see if I can make a... Okay. Oops, if I can spell exception right. I'm having problems with my typewriter tonight, everybody. All right.
For example, I always drink coffee in the morning. I never eat meat. I'm a vegan, right? Those are about your habits, right? So we use simple present. Now, on the other hand, if you talk about your history, we use present perfect. Oh, I don't I mean, I personally So for example, I have always loved peanut butter all my life, right? I have never seen a ghost all my life, right? When you use always and never in this way it's present perfect so you, can use, so you can use this one is about frequency right right it answers the question how often how often do you drink coffee i always drink coffee how often do you eat meat i never eat meat right but this one, the present perfect, answers questions about your experience. Right? How, how, how long have you loved peanut butter? Oh, I've always loved peanut butter. Have you ever seen a ghost? No, I've never seen a ghost. So they're both possible, but they mean two different things. They're both possible, but they mean two different things. So you always have to ask yourself, am I talking about experience or am I talking about my history, my frequency? Oh, okay. so, a so actually we could use all of these with present perfect, but we usually use just always and never. So for example, you could say, I have often seen um, something. I have often seen uh, Mr. Johnson at the coffee shop. I have often seen, right? Talking about your history until now. But you could also say, oh, I, okay. I often see him, right? So again, it depends on what you mean to say. They're both okay. It's just one means one thing and one means another thing. This is about a regular activity, and this is about your experience in your life. Okay, I understand. Thank okay, you. got it? All right. Okay. Yes. Can I go back to the worksheet? Yes. Yes, okay. All right, back to the worksheet I go. All right, you got it? All right. Yes. So, so in this case, this is a how often, so I'm gonna use simple present. Remember how long is present perfect? There's those two questions, right? How often do you, how long have you? How often do you, how long have you? All right, this one's how often, but, but they're two very similar verbs because they're about time, right? One is about the number of times and one is about the length of time. So they're very similar yeah. questions. Okay. All right. uh, next one, dislike. Angela dislikes something. What does she dislike? Asking. Asking, asking questions in class. Right? Asking questions. Good. The next one is want. To move. Want to, to move. Want to move. Florida. All right. doesn't the, like. the next one. Doesn't like. Doesn't like. like exactly. In general. Doesn't like. Doesn't like. 
The next one says, too busy. To come. To come. Right. Infinitive, right. Whenever you have this T-O-O, -O, you need that infinitive. Too busy, too hard, too heavy, too long, too far, right? Say this. Can you walk to your school? No, no, no. It's too far for me to walk. All right. The next one is a not yet. What can we say here? Having. 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 C A U G H T, right? Pronunciation. Caught. All right. Here we have never, but it's never before. Has never played. The quarterback has never played in this stadium before. The next one is about a question about your plans for tomorrow. What will you wear to the party tomorrow? What are you wearing? What are you wearing is good too. Remember when we when we have a plan, we can use present continuous or going to for the future. The next one is about Friday mornings. That's in general on Friday. So what can we say? Is is. Is working or does work? Which one makes sense? Does working. Does work. Does. Right. Does. Does work. Because I'm not talking about this Friday. I'm talking about every Friday, right? Oh, okay. Does work. Yeah, yeah. Remember when I have a plural on a word like mornings or evenings or afternoons? That means every morning, every evening, after every afternoon. So this means so Friday mornings means every Friday morning. All right. The class is excited about studying. Studying. I N G, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. I can spell it correctly. Studying. 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 The next one says at the moment. Isn't. 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 Oh. Sleeping. It's not as sleep. It's not as sleep. Yeah, it's not as fine too. Now, oh, by the way, speaking of that, that's a, another interesting question. Let me, let me go back to my board here for a second because it's always good to mention these things when they come up. There are three words that are very similar, but they're not quite the same. There's the word asleep, there's the word sleep, and there's the word sleepy. Hmm. All right. Can anybody use the word asleep in a sentence? Asleep? Yes. Yeah, I was asleep I in the morning. I was I was sleeping. No, no, no. Um, uh, how do we use uh, us asleep? Asleep. Asleep. I, I fell asleep. Is an adjective. Yes, yeah, adjective. And it's and the, asleep is a funny adjective because it's always after a verb. So Henry is. Asleep. Quiet. Or I fell asleep during the movie. Right? So you see, asleep is always after a verb. Mm -hmm. He is asleep. He fell asleep. Etc. Right. So, so don't wake up the baby. The baby is asleep. Adjective. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Now, on the other hand, 
sleep is it's a verb, a verb, right? And we can use it with present continuous or simple past or whatever, right? So, right? For example, Henry is sleeping, be quiet. Same meaning, but one is a present continuous verb and one is an adjective. So teacher, we can say the both ways? You can say both ways, yeah. One is a verb, okay. one is an adjective. Okay. Yeah, with, with, with the, there's a few verbs like this and I'll mention a couple after. Let's see, and, and, and sleepy, whoops. Right, sleepy is an adjective that means tired, right? It doesn't mean asleep, it just means tired, right? I, when you want to sleep, you say, I'm sleepy, right? For example, I'm sleepy tonight, I need coffee. Right? So when you're when you're sleepy, you're not sleeping, right? Mm -mm. <laughs> but if you but if you say sleeping or asleep, you are having your dreams, right? <laughs> so you have to be a little bit careful about these three words. There's an a, another word too, right? Just to mention. Right, there's also these two, right? Awake and wake. And again, same thing, right? Awake. Right, we use awake after the be verb. But again, wake is a verb. So, I'm wake. So, is he asleep? No. He's awake, right? We use that uh. There are some, some adjectives that begin with a that are very strange because you only use them with a, after a verb. You never use them in front of a noun. And they're always like afraid, alone, awake, asleep. Those verbs, those adjectives we never use after after a verb, excuse me, only after a verb. We never use them in front of a noun. Let me see if I can find a little list of those adjectives for you. Let me see. I can't find the list right now, but I'll, I'll find it sooner or later. Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway. All right. Uh, that'll have to wait for another day. But words like awake, asleep, 
especially for people who speak Spanish, because you, whenever you have an S in Spanish, you you say asleep, right? But, but oh, yeah. or mm -hmm. as a student, right? So you have to be careful about mm -hmm. that. We do have the word have away, mm -hmm. asleep, and we have the word sleep, and they're two different words. So he is asleep, or he is sleeping. Okay. 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 Anyway, back to back, back to business here. So again, this one right here, the baby isn't sleeping, or you could say he isn't asleep. They both mean the same thing, right? He isn't sleeping. He isn't asleep. One is a verb, one is an adjective, but it means the same thing. Uh, all right, anyway, so that a lot of people get confused with that word. So I, I thought a little explanation was worth our time. All right, the next one says right now. Right now sounds like continuous to me, huh? I am doing, I am doing my doing. homework. I am doing, I am right, doing now. right I'm doing my homework right now. I am doing present continuous. The next one is a question with recently. What do we use with recently? Has. Present perfect, has. right. Has the teacher. The teacher been. Been absent recently. Has been. The next one is the word enjoy. Playing. Playing. Play. 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 Golf with uh, The next one, very often. Not very often, should be what? Isn't or? Doesn't help. Doesn't help. Doesn't help. To buy a new sweater just to. The next one. He went to the mall. To the mall. To buy? To buy. To buy. To buy. Let's see, the next one, Pablo Picasso draw that picture. Pablo Picasso is dead, right? He's been dead mm -hmm. for many years. Has Pablo Picasso drawn? Draw? No, I don't think Pat. so. Did. 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 That's right. Did. No, did. Remember when we Pablo asked, Picasso. when we asked, no. asked questions about historical figures, I'm going to use simple past, right? When did George Washington uh, become the president, oh. right? Mm -hmm. Or when did uh, Pancho Villa live, George. right? When you're asking questions about history, you're going to ask questions with simple past. All right, when did Edison invent the light bulb, right? Did for simple past. All right, now the next one is about tomorrow. A plan uh, for tomorrow. Who? I would I'm take my card. All right. I, I'm going to take or will take or I'm taking. I'm taking. We'll take. Next one. Lately. Lately what? Haven't? I, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't studied very French very much. Very much lady. I haven't studied. All right. No problems? No. Not too bad, huh? No. All right. Let's see, who do we have here tonight in our quarantine and, <laughs> and uh, curfew the, class? With the quarantine, with the curfew. The quarantine with the curfew. And the... I, I thought we don't, we don't have a classes for the, because of the curfew. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We should all be in bed right now. Right? <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, it's, uh, it's 
a sorry situation. I hope everybody is safe and uh, that uh, keep your doors locked and don't go outside for the rest of the night. Huh? Yes. Yeah, if I, if I can't get students now, it's going to be a big problem, right? <laughs> you, you don't have any excuses, right? <laughs> You've yeah. got a quarantine and a curfew. You're stuck in the house. So what else, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we have to be careful. No, no, no jogging, no, uh, no nothing. Well, well. Anyway, we're, we're. What are we going to do tonight? Tonight we're going to, like I said, we're going to jump over chapter six. We might get to chapter six next week, but I don't want to. I don't want to spend time on chapter six this week because I do want you to to have an opportunity to uh, have chap talk about chapter seven a little bit before our final test. And the final test is almost ready. Probably I'll have it ready by tomorrow. So, and then you, you can take it uh, whenever you have free time. Whenever you have free time, you can take the test. It, there's a, a listening part, a reading part, and a grammar part. Three parts of the test. 100 points. Uh, Wait, I already did two over the weekend. What's that? Come? Already no, no, take two over the weekend. It doesn't come. Was, that was the practice test, yeah. Oh, oh that was an easy one. Yeah. Uh, that, uh, you, you, you did a good, you did a good job on the one, that one. Yeah, you should have put those questions already in that. Uh, <laughs> <final questions. laughs> should have been the final test. Uh, well, they'll be very similar. They're, if you did well on the practice test, I'm not going to send give you any crazy questions. Again, every every question you're going to get is from this. Uh, sheet of, of uh, that I gave you on the first day. So it's, there's no surprises. There, there are going to be some error identification questions. And I don't know, we haven't done a lot of those error identification questions. So well, let me show you where you can practice those if you want to. Um, let me see if I can go to Schoology here for a second. All right. And I think I have error identification questions in oh, everybody's I have, file. I have, an, I have another question, Mr. Webb. I yes, did go the ahead. One that you, I, I, had a, I did the one you sent over the phone, the um, Klaus connectors, I think. Uh-huh. I did it, everything, and they mark it like I did it wrong. But I take a picture when they give you the answers. Uh -huh. are, they are the same. So I don't know what's going um, on. Yeah. Yes, some, sometimes there's a bug in the computer and it doesn't work very well. I'm sorry about that. First, first I thought because I started with the capital letter, so I changed the capital letter mm -hmm. because but it was it's, uh, it's like still a still marked it wrong, huh? Yeah. And I, I All right. Well, let me let me investigate and see what what's no, going but, on. With but, that. but it was in the link over the phone, not the Schoology. Oh. The, 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 oh, it was that that one I sent you on on, on yeah, about, on about used. Oh, uh, about used to. Yeah, right, exactly. Okay, yeah, yeah. That, that one, I have no control of that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh my God, what's going on? You can, you can, you can blame me for the ones that go wrong for me. I had the proof that I did it right, so they give me the answer, so I don't know why the market run. Oh, okay. Oh, oh I see. I, I, I didn't uh, share the, the, the link with, with you guys. I should do that. Okay, hold on. Let me do this right now so I don't forget. This is an, an important link I want to share with you guys so you can practice for the for the final. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. All right, copy the course. Just give me a second here. Talk amongst yourselves, speak English. So so who else who else the, did the, the, the test, the practice test? Isadora, you did it? Yes. You did it? Yes. Both? But there was two tests. That I did three tests. Did three? I only saw three. two. Where was the other one? <laughs> and the cup and the red carpet. Yeah, I only see one with like uh, fifty questions, and then the other one with the story with uh Kathy and Peter. Mm. I can, was, like, I can listen the story. I can listen the story. I don't know why. No. No. Well, which Peter and Kathy? Yes, I can listen. No, but P Peter and Kathy, you're supposed to be read. The other okay. one, the, the, the other one, the story, what was the story about? Um, uh, what was the story about the other one? 
I can remember what was the story about. Uh, I can remember one of the questions, what was the reason he quit the job because he was too far from his, from his, from his house. Maybe I did the other one. Maybe that's not the one you did, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's the same. Let me see. It says, why, I forgot the name, he quits from the job because they don't give you the very, uh, the good opportunities, opportunities mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. that, that was the reading practice test, right? Yeah. Really? Doesn't or doesn't hear. Hmm? All right. Let me, let me share this with you and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, thank you for being patient. At least you were speaking English while we were practicing. Okay, that's it. We're, we're all a little bit ragged tonight. All right, so notice what I just put in there. Can you see the, the website? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So this is, From our practice. See, here, here we are, the, che the cheetahs. Yes. And I, I put in yeah, this one. There's gonna be some questions yeah. on the final yeah. test about error correction. And, and, and this is a kind of question that is on the level six test only. But if you're a level six, you have to pay attention to this. So let me show you some examples here. And, and there's lots of something, there's a lot of practice here that you could do before you take the final test if you want to practice this kind of a question. Okay, so let me see here. It's coming slowly. See, advanced level tests because you are advanced students. See, there are, look at all of these tests. Oh my goodness, there's like 40 of them. Is that loud? Yeah, you don't have to do 40, but 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 let me just show you what, what the idea is of these this kind of question. Because this is a new kind of question. Most of the questions are just multiple choice. But there are questions that are called find the mistake questions. Let's see if I can find. There it is. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay. So, all right. All right. So, do, do, can you see the the question here? Yes. It says fibers can come from plants, animals, or mineral ores, or they can be made from a variety of chemical substances. Okay. Or. 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 Or from. Let's see what you got. Everybody said or. Let's find out. Oh no. Oh no. No <laughs> <laughs> substance. Oh my goodness. What? Uh, because uh, I, I I suppose they're saying substance is a is a. Another uh, grammar mistake. So anyway, here's the here's the next one. Edward Franco Goldman was the first bandmaster to encourage leading contemporary comp compositions to write original works for the band. Original? Oh, original is fine. But but who who is he encouraging? He's encouraging contemporary band compositions. Huh? Composition. How, how do you say comp compositor? Composiciones. Compositions. But, but who, 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 ma who makes compositions? Compositor. Compositor. So in English, composer, right? Composer. Yeah, so this should be composer. Composer. It's a noun, but it is it is the wrong noun, right? Composition means the, the song. Composer means composer. the person. Oh, right. So these are a little tricky, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there are fifteen. It's a little. For le level six, there are fifteen questions like this. I think. So, so oh you, you have. It's, too, you it's have, hard for us. It's hard. You have thirty of the regular multiple choice questions, and then you have fifteen of these find the mistake questions. Let's see if we can do this one. The taper, an odd-toed hoofed animal, feed on. 
plants eating such things as grass, fallen fruit, and moss in large quantities. You see this one? Yes. What's the problem? Tapir. Feed. Problem is this one. Should be, feed. Should be feeds. With the S. Because this is singular. It's a taper, the taper, and the right. singular. Fit. So feeds. Anyway, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So there, there are there are many, many, many of these tests, right? Okay, I, let's see. Uh, let's see. How about this one? For thousands of years, people have used some kind of refrigeration, cooling beverages, and preserving edibles. Too. Cool. Too, too cool. We want the infinitive. Too cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because um, it's, it's just an infinitive to tell why. No, they, these are a little bit tricky, huh? Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, but but that, that's why I, I I suggest that you you try a few of those before you do the real test. Because when the real test is ready, and it'll be ready tomorrow, you're only going to have one opportunity, right? Only one chance. You can't take the test five, six times. One chance <laughs> and done. So, so uh, be ready for that. Level fours and level fives, you don't have to worry. That's only on the level six test. Uh -huh. You're welcome, level six students. My pleasure. Oh, thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Every, every, every trimester, you keep in an ad in an ad in Mr. Witt. It's not fair, is it? It's not fair. <laughs> I'm getting too much pressure on my poor level sixes. They work so hard, <laughs> and then they get all this pressure at the end. All right. I, I promise they won't be that hard. They're, they're, <laughs> they'll, they're, they're, they're all taken right from here. Okay? All yeah. right. Anyway, so what are we going to talk about tonight? Like I said, we're going to talk about chapter seven tonight. Chapter seven. And, and let me do a little presentation first about chapter seven, and then we'll look at chapter seven in the book, okay? Chapter seven, like I said, is not the hardest chapter in the book. It's actually, I think, fairly similar to the grammar in Spanish. So it's not such a terrible thing. In Chinese, sorry, I don't know. <laughs> but I, it's probably very different. But if, if you speak Spanish, this is not so terrible. But let me, let me bring open the board here for a second. And actually, it'll be easier for me to do it on a piece of paper. So let me try that instead. Okay. Okay, all right. One moment, please. Okay. Okay, everybody see an empty piece of paper? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. Let me see if I can make it a little larger here. Let's see. There we go. All right. So the topic in chapter seven is using clauses to describe nouns. Remember, we, when we usually describe nouns, we use adjectives, right? An adjective describes a noun. So for example, if I say, I have a book, well, what kind of book? An interesting book. I have a friend, what kind of friend? A good friend. I have uh, a ice cream cone, what kind of ice cream cone? a delicious ice cream cone, right? So if I want to describe a book or a friend or an ice cream cone, I use an adjective. But sometimes an adjective is not sufficient to describe. Sometimes I need a subject and a verb. 
And when I have a subject and a verb, that's what we call an adjective clause. A clause, right? A clause is a subject and a verb. Okay? Now, if we have two sentences, like back in level one, I could say, for example, I have a friend. He works at uh, the United Nations as a translator. Okay? If I was in level one, I could say this, right? I have a friend. He works at the United Nations as a translator. Right? That's a, a level one student can say that. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. We don't want to give the level one people too much credit, but but this is these are both simple present tense sentences. They both have one subject and one verb. And they're not too complicated so far, right? But I can combine this by doing one little step. I take this word he out and I put the two sentences together. I have a friend, oops, who works at the United Nations as a translator. All right, what did I do? I changed he for who? You made one. Yeah, I changed two sentences into one. Right? By by making one sentence my main clause and making the this second appeared up a pound a pound. A pound. Okay. <laughs> Disappear up a uh, period. period. Yeah, the period. The, the period disappeared. That's right. It's now one okay. sentence. It's now one Thank sentence. You. Right. Very good. Okay. All right. Let, okay. Let's let's try another one. All right, I have a CD player. It can hold six CDs at the same time. Again, this is something a level one student can say. All right, but what are we gonna do? We're gonna take that word it, and we're gonna put these two together. But instead of using who? That. That, exactly. So I have a CD player that can hold six CDs at the same time. <laughs> now, sometimes I have to do a little more work than this. This is pretty easy, right? I just change one word to another word and I'm done. Okay, so far so good? So far so good. Okay, let's try one more. Okay, now, now we have the word they, and we have two sentences. Students should study, they want to pass the test. All right, is they a person or a thing? 
personal. Person. Personal. Okay. So, what can we say? Students. Students. Who, who want to pass the test? Should study. See what I did with that one? I put it in the middle, right? I took this whole sentence and I put it between the subject and the verb. But again, I use that same word, who. Elephants drink a lot of water. They live in Africa. What? Now this is an animal. So should we say who or that? That. 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 Right. So elephants. Okay. That elephants live in Africa. That drink a lot, lot of water. So I took the word they and I changed it to that. that. Elephants that live in Africa drink a lot of water. So what's the rule here? The rule is this, right? These are called subject pattern clauses. We'll talk about the other kind of clause tomorrow, but this is called a subject pattern clause. For people, we use who or sometimes that, but who is more popular. So I'm going to make that one a different color. Right. That one is more popular, who. For things, we use which or that, but that is more popular. So I'll put that one in. So the two that are green are the most popular. Right. I can use who or that or which or that who or that which or that both are good for making an adjective clause okay Does everybody have that written down? Yes. All right, let's look at this in the book a little bit, and then we're gonna practice with some conversation, okay? Uh, in your book, if you could turn to page, let me see here. Go to page, oops. Page 86. 
Page 86. Let's see if we can do some combinations here tonight. All right. Page 86, it says grammar focus. Who, that, which. We're going to talk about this tonight. We'll talk about the other one tomorrow. Okay. Let me see here. I need to go to my... Do you see the the book? Or what are you looking at right now? You're looking at the paper, right? Yes. Okay, let me switch it to the book. Okay, here we go. All right. All right, if you have a book, it's page 86. If you don't have a book, don't panic. Just check out. Check out what we have here. Notice what we have. The camera costs $99. It is on sale, right? It means the camera. So with a thing, a camera is a thing. So I can use which or that. The camera which is on sale, cost $99. The camera that is on sale, cost $99. Which or that for things. On the other hand, the clerk helped a customer who lost the receipt, right? Customer is a person, so who? Or the clerk helped the customer that lost the receipt. Remember, the most popular are who for people, that for things. All right, let's watch this little video together. I didn't have a chance to send it to you before class, but let's watch it together. It's only a few minutes and it will be, there'll be some good examples in here. Four minutes and five seconds. So let's spend four minutes and five seconds on this. And then we're gonna do some practice in the book and then we're gonna do some practice together. All right. All right, subject pattern, object and clauses. This is what we're talking about, who, that, and which. All right, watch and listen. Well, you're gonna to listen to me. What does it say? Adjective clauses come after a noun and begin with a relative pronoun. Who, that, and which are the relative pronouns we're talking about here. And again, who for people, which for things, that for people or for things, no problem. Who for people, which for things, that for both. So notice what we have. Kate has a new cell phone. It is easy to use. So what did we do here? Kate has a new cell phone. Cell phone is a thing which is easy to use. Or Kate has a new cell phone that is easy to use. A cell phone is a thing. So our connector was which, not so popular, or that, much more popular. Right, they're both okay but that is more popular. So she has a cell phone that is easy to use. She has a cell phone which is easy to use, right? Because we're describing a thing, a cell phone. Now here we're describing people, right? People are buying things on sale. They want bargains. People who want bargains are buying things on sale. People that want bargains are buying things on sale. Who or that for people? Who or that for people? All right, here's, we're describing televisions. Televisions are things, so what do we say? Which, which or that? that? I saw a lot of TVs which were very old, or I saw a lot of TVs that were very that old. Were very old. Which or that? Which or that? Who and that? Which and that? The salesperson was very good at his job. He helped us. Salesperson is a person, right? Obviously. So what are we going to use? Who, most popular, or that. 
salesperson who helped us or the salesperson that helped us? Who or that? Both are good. Who or that? Who for people, which for things, that for people and things. All right, let's check your understanding. Now you're going to tell me. Okay, it says here, Katie has a new cell phone. It's easy to use. That, the, it the, it that. in the second sentence replaces which word? That. It that. means what? What, is it, what does which? it mean? No, listen to my question. I, listen to my question, please. What does the word it refer to? Uh, cell phone. Cell phone. <laughs> cell phone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ching. <laughs> so, so it, so it refers to the cell phone, right? Yes. yes. So, slowly, the video will get there sooner or later. It refers to the cell phone. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. It replaces the cell phone. Okay. So cell phone mm -hmm. is a thing. So what are we going to do? You said it already. We're going to use which or that. Both are good. That is most popular. Both are okay, but that is most popular. Do we use the relative which or who? We use which, right? We use which. So Kate has a new cell phone. It's easy to use. Kate has a new cell phone. That is easy to use. Kate has a new cell phone. Which is easy to use? That or which? That or which? Both are good. All right. We have people. All right. We have people want bargains. Okay. What kind of bargains do they want? They're, they're buying things on sale. So are we going to use who or that? Who? 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 Right. Who, that would be fine as, as well, but who most popular? People who or people that? People who or people that? All right. Now we're talking about TVs. So what are we going to say about the TVs? I saw some TVs. They were very old. So what, how could you say that? I saw some TVs. That. Which, that, which that, that were very old, that. right? It's or which were very old. Mm -hmm. Which this which or that? Which or that? Which or that? Which or that? Okay, more practice. We have the salesperson. Salesperson is a person. So what are we going to say? We're going to say who or which? Who? 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 Right. So who? the salesperson who, who? helped us who? was good at his job. The salesperson who helped us was good at his job. There we go. Who? The salesperson who helped us was good at his job. All right, and here's the review. And the review is basically exactly what we just looked at on the paper. So I'm going to close down here. Okay. Close that down if I can. All right, goodbye. So, which and that for things? Who and that for people? Okay, so let's do some practice with these exercises. We have here some practice. Let's see what we can do. We have an example here. I want to buy a camera. It is not expensive. So I want to buy a camera, which is not too expensive. Okay. All right. How about the next one? I'd like to get a good camera. It will last for many years. So what can we say here? Should we say who or that? 
that. 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 So tell me the whole sentence. I like, I like your camera, Apple. Camera. That will last for many years. I'd like to get a good camera that will last for many years. Okay. All right. Many people shop online. They are looking for cameras. What can we say there? Many people, many people, people shop online. Are looking for cameras? Shop now, now what? Now hold on. Who are looking? <laughs> what? 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 Who are looking? I agree. But where who are we going to put looking? that? Where are we going to put that who? word? Who? Me, after, after many people. After people. After people. Right. So let's let's try the whole thing. Many people. Many who are people looking, who are looking for cameras? Are looking for cameras shop cameras shop online. online. Many people who are looking for cameras shop online. Shop online. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. My friend told me about a camera store. It sells used merchandise. Okay. Which? 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 Again, yeah. Which. So my friend told me about a camera store which, which. sells used merchandise okay. or a camera store that sells used merchandise. Which? or that which or that okay good number five customers like to shop at super camera they appreciate good service so they is who who is they customers, customers. who, customers. Customers. Okay, so customers. Customers who, who appreciate, appreciate good service, good service. Shop. Shop. like shop. to shop at super, super like camp. To shop at super right. camp. customers who appreciate good service like to shop at super camp. Good. customers like shop. the clerk is very helpful he works in customer service so what can we say there the clerk, the clerk who works, who works in customer service, customer service is, very is very helpful. The clerk who works in customer service is very helpful. The clerk who. All right. Number four. These days. Seven. Oh, seven. Yes. Right, <laughs> seven. Four. My brain is gone. <laughs> two more weeks. Two more weeks. I can make it. <laughs> These days, many people want an expensive camera. It has separate lenses. So these days, many people want an expensive camera. That has separate lenses. That has separate lenses. Good. Sometimes people need to return merchandise. It is defective. Which is defective. Which is defective or that is the um, right buyers may be sorry later if they don't ask about the return policy so what can we say here buyers who don't ask buyers who don't, don't ask, ask about the about the stories maybe there's a return policy right maybe policy. maybe so policy. right maybe sorry. sorry later and number 10, people now have smartphones. The phones have excellent cameras. Describing the phones, right? So what can we say? Many people, people have many smartphones. People have cell phones have that have excellent, have excellent cameras. cameras. That have excellent cameras or which have excellent which cameras? Which have. Yeah, which or which have excellent. that. That have. All now, I think in this practice, the instructions we're using only which and who. But remember, that works for every sentence. I could say that for all 10 sentences, no problem, right? But again, typically, what is the typical thing? Typically, uh, you say that people? for things and who for people. Who for first. Typically, who people? typically, which is fine, but we don't use it very much, to be honest. We most of the time use that, okay? Okay. All right. I want to practice a little bit more. And we're going to practice a little conversation with some partners. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's do some conversation okay. practice. Thank you. 
All right. The question we're going to ask each other is this one. What kind of mm, do you like? And the, the next question, what kind of what kind of oops of so we're going to make some sentences, okay? Now I'm going to give you some nouns. I want everybody to copy these nouns down because we're going to go into our little rooms and practice, okay? So get out your papers and get ready to copy. All right. The first one, classmates. For, for example, Julio, what kind of classmates do you like? Uh, friendly. Okay, but, but so I like classmates who? I like classmates who are friendly. I like classmates who are friendly, okay. And what kind of classmates don't you like? Uh, I, I don't like the classmates who who are not friendly? Oh, okay, but you could say something else. Like, for example, I don't like classmates who interrupt during the class. Or I don't like classmates oh. who, who make Talk noise. I don't like classmates who, who, talking too much. who are talking too much during yeah, the class. I don't like classmates who, who talk loud. Who talk very loud. Okay, very good. Okay, good. All right, so everybody write down classmates. All right. Well, Lupe, what about neighbors? Can you tell me what kind of neighbors you like? I like neighbors who are very friendly. Okay. And what kind of neighbors don't you like? I don't like the neighbors who are not friendly. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> All right. That, that or who are noisy. Think of something your neighbors do that would bother you. Right? Who are noisy. <laughs> Who have loud parties? Who make oh, oh yeah. Who uh, who have well, parties I, well, every weekend? Well, <laughs> my neighbors all okay. all of them they're very quiet. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, all right. Uh, let me see. How about Isadora? What kind of computers do you like, Isadora? <laughs> <laughs> I like computers who who, who that, are that? That that that, right. that I like computers that are very fast. That are very fast. <laughs> that have a big screen. <laughs> that, that are, are very fast. <laughs> that have a lot of memory, right? That, that. Okay. And what kind of computers don't you like? I I don't like that computer that who doesn't have that which doesn't which? have a, a lot of memory. That which don't have much memory, right? I don't like computers yeah. which don't have much memory. Okay, good. All right, let me see. Claudia. Yes. What kind of dogs do you like? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. Uh. I like um I like the dogs. Small dogs that, um, that don't bark in too much. The dog don't mark too much. What kind of dogs don't you like? Oh um I don't like the dogs that are hungry. That are angry, that are mean, that are always parking. Good. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Like full dog, huh? All right. Uh, Edith, what kind of uh, 
neighborhoods do you like? Okay, I like um, a quiet neighbors. Okay, so you, you like neighborhoods like, that are quiet. Yes. Okay, what kind of neighborhoods don't you like? Um, I don't like neighbors that neighborhoods. are neighborhoods. Neighborhoods. Neighborhoods that very noisy okay i don't like neighborhoods that are very noisy, noisy. Okay, good. okay let's see how about all right uh, jose yes teacher what kind of pizzas do you like i like I like pizzas. Uh, that that has uh, that that is spicy ones. Mm -hmm. What what kind of toppings do you like on the pizzas? You like pizzas like that have, have, have pineapple. Like you like pizzas that have pepperoni. Yeah, I like pizzas that have that have a uh, uh, jalapeno. Jalapenos. You like pizzas that have jalapenos. Okay. What kind of pizzas don't you like? I don't like pizzas that have uh, vegetables. You don't like no vegetables on your pizza. Uh, okay. All right. You don't like onions or tomatoes on your pizza? No. Um. No. 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 no not, so, not so much. Okay. No. All right. Good. All right. All right, let's see. How about, uh, let's see, who, who haven't I asked yet? Let's see, uh, Ching. Uh, what kind of children do you like? Children? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like, uh, I like children who are very quiet. You like children who are quiet. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> All right, and what kind of children you don't like? <laughs> I don't like children who Craig. who, is, who, who are noisy, who are noisy, <laughs> or, or who are who are always crying, crying. Who, who make a lot crying. of noise. Yeah, make a lot of noisy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Uh, how about Armando? Yes, sir. Let's see. Make one relevant to today. Okay. What kind of uh, protesters do you like? Uh, I like uh, 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 protesters who are not making so many uh, disturbs. Yeah, yeah, who, who are peaceful, huh? Yeah. Uh, what kind of protesters don't you like? I don't like those protesters. They are burning all the buildings. Yeah, yeah, who burn buildings. I don't like protesters who burn buildings. Right. All right. Uh, let's see, Leonardo. What kind of friends do you like? I like friends that that uh, are uh, they they are a uh, lie. Que digan la verdad. I don't know cómo se dicen. Ayúdenme. The truth. Oh, who, oh yeah. you, so you like yeah. friends? You like friends who tell you the truth. Yeah. Yes. And and so you don't like friends who. Uh, I don't who, who like li who lie, right? Who, yeah. Who uh huh? Who lie, right? Like, so you like friends who tell you the truth, but you don't like yeah. friends who lie, right? Yeah. Uh, that, that sounds reasonable. All right. Let's see. Uh, Eravigas. Yes, teacher. I'm going to put a dangerous one up here. What about teachers? <laughs> I like the teacher uh, who teach very well. Okay. Like you. Oh. Who you are. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so sweet. Yeah. Oh. And I, I don't like. Would... I don't like the teacher who uh, always in the class. Tell about his life, only like his life, his life, and not teach. 
Oh, oh they just talk about themselves. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah, that's that's the worst, right? It's like, okay, I don't want to hear your life story. I want you to teach me the <laughs> subject. All right, good. Let's see. Noel. Are you there, Noel? Yeah, I'm here. All right, tell me about, let's see, how about movies? What kind of movies do you like? Um, well, I don't really watch movies because uh, for me it looks like uh, something, like it's not, it's not real, the movies. Okay, so, so, so you don't like movies that are, uh, are, are not real? Yeah, if there, if there is a movie that is based on real uh, life, maybe. Mm -hmm. like okay, okay. So you like movies that are based on real stories? Uh, yeah. Correct. Oh, okay, that that's reasonable. And, but and so you don't like movies that are are fantasies? No, I don't. Think okay, so. all right. That's a that's a good answer. All right. Let's see. Did I ask everybody? I anybody? So. I, anybody I miss? <clears throat> no. No? Okay. Does everybody have all these 11 written down? No. It's only it. from, from the 3 to 10. <laughs> you didn't write them down? <laughs> I wrote only three. No, no. Write them all down. Write them all down. I wrote, gonna... I wrote four. <laughs> <laughs> you were supposed to be writing them down while we were talking. <laughs> That's what, I was wondering why you still see it on the, on the screen now. Page. Oh, you couldn't see the page? Yeah. You see it now? Yes? No. Yeah, yeah, no. I see it. I see it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't. I can see a teacher. What do you see? I see the. the from the. The, 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 book, the, the last book. The book. The, the oh, last you, you, you only see the book? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. You should have said something. Sorry, there we go. Oh, uh, teacher. Oh. Okay, sorry. I, 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 uh, I, 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 yeah, I, I, said, I said, please copy these down and you couldn't see it. I'm sorry. Yeah, so we're going to see it later. Oh. Okay. What so, about you, what the class like? student? Uh, no, what happened? Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. What, 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 Can you see now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. All right, so oh, co copy that down or take a picture of the screen. And then we're going to. Oh, I don't know how to put Six. I'm sorry about that, students. I'll t I'll tell you my opinions. Let's see. I like I like class. Ah, what about you? I'll tell you my opinions right now. I, I I like classmates who help each other. I I don't like classmates who don't participate. Um, I I like neighbors who keep to themselves. I don't like neighbors who ask too many questions. Mm -hmm. I don't like no, nosy neighbors. Right? Um, mm -hmm. I, I like computers that have a big, key, a large keyboard. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't like the small keyboards. All right. And I, I, I like, I don't like computers that are too slow. Um, I like dogs that are uh, obedient, and I I don't like dogs that make a lot of noise. Um, I like neighborhoods that are safe, especially now. <laughs> I don't like neighborhoods that that have a lot of graffiti. <laughs> I like pizzas that have. Uh, pepperoni and sausage. I don't like pizzas that have uh, jalapenos. <laughs> Not for me, jalapeno pizza, no, th no thank you. 
Uh, let's see. Mm. I, I like children that listen to their parents. Uh, I I don't like children that uh, are bullies. Uh, I like protesters who obey the law. I don't like protesters who break windows. I like friends who who uh, who um, tell me the truth. I don't like friends who don't return my phone calls. <laughs> I like I like teachers who explain the lesson well. I don't like teachers who are not prepared. Um, I like movies that have a lot of heart. I don't like movies that are too violent. All right, those are my opinions, okay? Everybody got it written down now? Yes. Yes, yes? okay. So let me stop the share, okay? I'm gonna put you into your little breakout rooms for a few minutes and you can share some answers. Remember, if you're describing a person, what do you say? Ooh. Ooh. That. You're describing Ooh. a thing? That. That. Which. That. 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 Which for that. things as well. Okay, everybody ready? Yeah. All right, yeah. I'm gonna put you into yeah. your rooms for about five, five minutes, 10 minutes, and then we'll come back and wrap up the lesson, okay? Done. Okay. okay, so practice with your partners, okay? Okay. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Welcome back, welcome back. Puppy! Oh. <laughs> we, just, we, just lost, we just lost somebody. Mm -hmm. All right, welcome, welcome everybody. Did you have a chance to finish the list, Mas o menos? Yes. Yes. Awesome yes. So what, yes. what was our main point tonight? Our main point tonight was about what we call a subject pattern clause. The subject pattern clause always goes noun, connector, verb. Noun, connector, verb. So, so for example, I don't like classmates who interrupt the teacher, right? Noun classmates, connector, who, verb, interrupt. I don't like classmates who interrupt the teacher, right? Okay. And if we use that, it's the same story, right? Um, I could say, for example, um, let's see, uh, cameras that have two or three lenses are very expensive. Cameras that have two or three lenses are very expensive, right? So, people, who, things, which, and we can use that for both. The most popular, people, who, things, that. Now, tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to go on and talk about what we call an object pattern clause. And we're gonna see that and which again, but we're also gonna see the word whom, whom, which is a whom. word we don't see very often in American whom. English, whom. Mm -hmm. and, and we're also gonna see the fact that we sometimes don't need a connector at all. So these are what we call object pattern clauses and that's what we're gonna talk about tomorrow night. Tonight, subject pattern. And in fact, if you are, let me see, uh, if you are a level four student, level four student, it says right here, 
at the bottom. Adjective clauses with who and that. So level four, you're done. <laughs> level five and six, we got some more connectors we got to worry about. Who, whom, that, and which. So basically, tonight's lesson is level four. Tomorrow night's lesson, level five. And then on Wednesday night, we're going to look at the ones you need to know for level six. So four, five, six. We're going to go up the ladder this, this in these lessons. So, of course, if you're level six, you need to know everything from level four I, and everything from level five. And I think I'm level, level four. Six. What is this? Go I back to level, level four. four. Yeah. So, 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 so if, if you understand tonight's <laughs> lesson, you're ready for that level four test. <laughs> right? Because that's all that's on the level four mm -hmm. test. Who and that. Only those two. Who and that. Not, not even which. Let me see. Wait a minute. Okay. Oh, let's see. Good night. Let me see. Who and that. Yeah, that's it. Not even which. Okay. So tomorrow okay. night, tomorrow night we talk about the object pattern clauses. And then we're, like I said, I'm probably going to have your final test ready tomorrow. So you can take it anytime between now and Monday. Okay. The, the okay. test will be, re be ready by tomorrow. Okay. I hope. Okay. I hope. Give give me give me some caffeine and I'll get up early and and, and make it. <laughs> okay. All right. No problem. No problem. No problem. All right. I like students who come every night. Thank you very much. Okay. I appreciate it. Uh, you're, See you you're tomorrow, teacher. almost to the end. Almost to the end. We got it. We got this, guys. We got this. See si you later. We did it. They can start the city on fire and we'll still finish our class. All right. <laughs> uh, all right. Thank you, everybody. All right, thank see you. you. We'll see you again have tomorrow. A... And, uh, yes, have a good night, and, and everyone. I'll have the test ready by tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. To okay. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. 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 All right. Bye. Stay, Bye. stay safe, everybody. Tomorrow. Don't go outside if you don't have to. Bye-bye. Okay.